he um, wrote beautifully on magic. He was an historian of magic. He was quite wealthy. He didn't need the money from performances, mm -hmm. but he gave the performances regularly. Uh, he wasn't uh, exactly uh, a hotshot when it came on being on stage. Uh, he thought he was, but he was somewhat deluded in that respect. Um, I speak kindly of him because he was a good man. He was just not a great magician, uh, though he thought he was. And um, he did a show on Broadway, uh, off Broadway, pardon me, Little Theater, only see it about this number of people, I think. And um, I volunteered to do the music and sound effects and lights and everything for him because I was, I was on hiatus at the time. And uh, I saw the show through, oh, it was painful. Uh, it wasn't as bad as the magic show we saw the other night, because <laughs> nothing will approach that step. They, they set a brand new standard that uh, cannot be met. It just cannot be met. Uh, that, that would have been the compliment I gave them. Well, you've set a new standard, <laughs> if, if I'd ever gotten to speak to them. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Christopher went on to his thing, and then he, he, he took the juice of two quarts of bourbon and downed it uh, right after the show, and the, the village voice was there, the reporter, and he asked Jerry Anders, who was backstage, he said, what did you think of the show, Mr. Anderson? Jerry said, well, I, uh, I wouldn't want to discuss that there, uh, because it's, uh, his eyes are about it. And he, he mumbled it, and he got out of that, and they asked me, and I said, well, I, I work for the show, so I shouldn't give you a, an opinion. You should look for a dispassionate opinion. Well, Roy Benson was there, a nightclub uh, a comedy magician. Great, wonderful, wonderful sleight of hand, man. Just a, a real artist, a real artist, wonderful. And talk about a great sense of humor. And he said, Well, what do you think, uh, Mr. Mr. Benson? Said, you don't work for the show, and uh, that's sort of thing. He said, That's true. Just then, Christopher walked into the dressing room, a little tipsy, and said, Yeah, Roy, tell him what you thought of the show. And Roy said, Okay, uh, I'll put it this way Chris, you were never better. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, That's all you're going to say? And he said, No, I, I can say this too. Well, Chris, you've done it again. <laughs> I thought those were great comments. They couldn't say anything, but the reporter wrote them down, and Chris just beamed. He thought that was great. So I, that, another little anecdote. We magicians do have a sense of humor from time to time, but not about uh, John Edward and a few other people, but nonetheless. So anything else I can discuss with you folks, and how's my time?